Today we're going to play the equivalent fractions game. In this game, our goal is to build two equivalent fractions in this blue and this green box down below that are equal to the fraction represented in the red box up above. Currently, when I look at this red box, it is divided into four parts. One, two, three, four. These parts are equivalent or equal to each other. One of these parts is highlighted red. So therefore, we can say that this square is one fourth, and that is represented by this fraction down here. We are now going to try to build equivalent fractions in the blue and green square to what we have up above. We can do this by splitting this blue square either vertically or horizontally into areas. Because this one is split this way, I'm going to do the same thing here. So I am going to divide into parts. So for example, if I split this into half, so I have two equal parts, can I create a fra fraction in this box that is equal to the one up above? And I cannot because this small area right here that represents one fourth, I cannot represent down here. So I'm just gonna add a few more. For example, if I split this blue box into eight equal parts, and I begin to highlight, this is one eighth, this second box is two eighths. I can see here that two eighths is equivalent to one fourth, which means this area that is highlighted by two eighths is equal to this area that is highlighted by one fourth. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this green box and split it also into, and I'll do 16 equal parts. If I split this box into 16 equal parts and I begin to highlight there's one 16, two 16s, three 16s, four, whoops, four 16s. I can see here that four 16s is equal, equivalent to one fourth, which is equivalent to two eighths. Once I believe that I have equivalent fractions, I'll click this check here. This check says, yes, these two fractions are equivalent to the one up above, and it will allow me to see the equivalent fractions right here. I can then click the new fraction button to get a new fraction to try. And so now my new fraction is 1 7th. I have one red bar highlighted out of the seven equal parts that this box is highlighted. I can then move this to divide either horizontally or vertically into equal parts to try to create equivalent fractions. You can now play the game. Have fun.